Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new loot video for you all today. Today I bring you guys loot from 1000 Redwood Birdhouses. As you can see we are purchasing four clockwork and we're going to be using those same four clockwork for this whole entire video. We're not going to be needing to buy any more but we are going to be needing to buy 1000 Redwood Logs. As you can also see in the inventory I had about 600 Guam seeds to start. That would be what I would be using for my birdhouse bait but eventually I did have 10,000 buy and I was uh, pretty much just starting with 10,000 guam seeds as well. Here we are starting this 1,000 journey and as you can see here using the magic mush tree I have not yet found number two which is the teleport to the verdant valley. So let's just go ahead and start with the mushroom meadow. We're going to go ahead and build these four clockworks into individual birdhouses, plant them in there and then put the seeds in them so that they'll start to catch birds. Now this is actually the very first birdhouse run on my main account which is why I haven't even found the second location to do them so we're just going to run south along the mushroom meadow and plant our second birdhouse and put some seeds in there and now I'm going to go ahead and plant the other two birdhouses where they need to be in the verdant valley uh, I have not unlocked this teleport yet that's why I had to run here but obviously after this first run all I have to do is click on the magic mush tree and it'll be unlocked and we are starting this video close to 24 million hunter xp and we can expect to receive 1000 1200 hunter xp per birdhouse so should be getting exactly 1.2 million hunter xp from this video and as most of you know occasionally you will receive some eggs in your bird nest that you get from uh, whether it be birdhouse runs or anything else so i did have some loose eggs in the bank that i wanted to use before i started this loot video maybe we'll get some luck here early on and get an evil chicken piece but either way we need to clear these out of the bank so we can start from scratch and uh, hopefully stack up a lot of eggs for the end after we uh, end up getting a thousand birdhouses completed and after using all the eggs i did not receive anything but i uh, waited 50 minutes and i started my second birdhouse run out of many many more to come and basically for the last couple of weeks i've had a 50 minute timer just in a separate google chrome tab and whenever it would go off i would simply stop whatever i'm doing on my main account and do a birdhouse run and you may be thinking mr no sleep why would you do this on your main account and not on your iron man account wouldn't the results be more beneficial for him and that is true, but I'm working on other things on that account for longer term projects involving uh, right now the Kingdom of Miscellanea, among other things, so I just decided to do it on my main account. I mean, worse case I guess I'll get some hunter XP and I'll make some profit so results will definitely vary depending on what birdhouse you're planting and what your hunter level is and etc but this is pretty much the best birdhouse that you can plant you do need a crafting level of 90 in order to create a redwood birdhouse and you do need a hunter level of 89 in order to plant it um Basically, the wiki has all sorts of information that I'll be leaving in the description below about the different birdhouses you can make and the difference in XP per hour depending on what you do and, of course, your hunter level. Now, here we are, 160 birdhouses into the video with our first hard clue scroll, and we also uh, were lucky enough to obtain an easy clue before this. The rate goes as followed. Uh, per birdhouse, you have a 1 in 50 chance to receive a beginner clue, which I just avoided personally. I don't do beginner clues. Uh, you have a 1 in 375 chance to receive an easy clue, 1 in 500 for medium, 1 in 750 for hard, and 1 in 1500 for the elite. Now it is important to note that those rates will be more in your favor and you'll get more clue scrolls if you have the easy up to elite combat achievements completed, but I have yet to do that, so I'm just going to be doing the normal rates, I guess. But nevertheless, here is 200 out of 1000 completed so far. We have one easy, one hard, and one medium clue, 159 seed nests, and 115 ring nests, which aren't that exciting but you know they're still going to add to the price check. I was very surprised to actually get an elite clue uh, close to 250 bird nests in or bird houses in sorry you know a little confusing there bird house bird nest all these birds but uh, yeah it is nice to receive an elite we'll definitely be saving all of those towards the end of the video after the price check I'll be opening up all of them. Runelight did track this in two different price checks I think I had 276 in one screenshot uh, in the loot tracker and then the remaining 750 or so in the second screenshot which you guys 
guys will also see at the end, um, for some reason, one of my birdhouse runs wasn't tracked because of a weird update. I guess I had done it uh, before my RuneLight client actually logged in as me, so it didn't track anything. So sorry that the RuneLight loot tracker only shows 996, not 1,000. That is unfortunate, but either way, everything was tracked uh, in the bank tab. And yeah, I mean, I was doing everything from Barrows to uh, Phantom Muspa to Last Man Standing, and then whenever that 50-minute timer would go off, I would go ahead and do my quick little birdhouse run and I got a lot of these birdhouses done relatively quickly because uh, every 50 minutes no matter if I was on RuneScape or not I made sure that timer was loud enough through my headphones that I would hear it if I was in another room or if I was just laying in bed so I made sure to do more birdhouse runs um, pretty much any hour that I was awake and even on some hours that I wasn't uh, that timer would wake me up and yeah we get some more birdhouses done and here we are with 600 birdhouses done so far 400 left to go uh, you know the thing with killing a thousand phantom must but at the same time as doing this video is you're going to see a ton of hard and elite clue caskets in this same bank tab but don't worry rune light did show how many i obtained from the birdhouses and how many i obtained from the phantom muspa so don't get too excited you guys have to wait until that muspa video in order to see all the other clue scroll casket loot but yeah let me know in the comment section below if you are a fan of birdhouse runs do you do them every day do you do them every 50 minutes whenever you get a chance or do you just avoid them for you know no reason whatsoever you're just not a big fan of them and you don't really need it for the uh, crushed nests or anything like that. I know some Iron Men really love those nests in order to uh, complete and make Ceridome and Brews. And I know also that the seeds are very useful for farming uh, for Iron Men accounts. But on a main account, do you actually do your birdhouse runs? Let me know. I mean, the Hunter XP, you can't deny, is really good for just passive XP over time. I mean, this video took less than 20 days to actually make. And although it seems like a long time, almost a month, um, it was virtually just like a 90 second run run every 50 minutes whenever I felt like doing it and I got over 1.2 million uh, hunter XP or I should say exactly 1.2 million so that's pretty impressive I mean it went from 24 million to over 25 million hunter XP and you do get a little bit of crafting XP as well I think 55 per birdhouse so it was like 55k but yeah that's that's something, I guess. And here we are coming up on 800 out of 1,000, and really the only cost to make this video was purchasing 1,000 redwood logs for approximately 500k, and then 10,000 guam seeds for, I think, less than 50k. So it really didn't cost much at all. Of course, if you're an Iron Man, you can just chop those trees and keep those logs for your birdhouse runs, and it'll cost nothing but a little bit of time. And we have the join feature if you want to support the channel any further. Moving on, though, we do have now 100 redwood logs left, which means we have 100 redwood birdhouses left to create and we'll be done with this video so this took uh you know not a lot of time at all as it goes for in game time but every 50 minutes you can pretty much just calculate you know 50 minutes and then of course 1000 divide that by four you guys know how to do all that but uh, yeah in general this really didn't take that long at all and it's just a passive profit and hunter xp and it amazed me that this has been in the game since 2018 which means that oh man i mean i wonder who in the game who has done the most birdhouse runs out of anyone, but no doubt about it, this has definitely contributed to some Iron Men uh, with getting, you know, many farming levels from all the seeds, assisting a lot on Herblore, and uh, yeah, I mean, the list is endless, all that Hunter XP as well, so uh, I myself more of a fan of hunting Chinchampas and Herbivore for Hunter XP, I don't think I need to rely on this for getting levels or anything like that, Hunter's actually one of my favorite skills, but I think this is really neat for uh, someone who's just starting out uh, to get really quick Hunter levels, because the bare minimum level that you need to uh, plant any birdhouse, let me just just check my sources here. You need five crafting and level five hunter to create a regular birdhouse. And then of course the peak is uh, 90 crafting and 89 hunter for a redwood birdhouse. So once you have access to Fossil Island and the dig site teleports, uh, this is just really easy from there on out, even starting at level five hunter and five crafting. You just need a hammer and a chisel and four logs of whatever birdhouse that you're going to create. Well, those nine minutes just flew right on by. Here we have the 1000 redwood birdhouses completed. Let's go open up the the nest that contain all the eggs and then let's go ahead and use them uh, in order to maybe, if I'm lucky enough, obtain a piece of the evil chicken suit. So we're going to start with our Ceridoman eggs. We have 20 of those and then we have 21 Guthix eggs and 21 Zamorak eggs. So just on par with the rate there. So that is nice. Uh, we'll go ahead and start with the Ceridoman eggs on this little uh, shrine, I guess you call it, which is inside the woodcutting guild, right outside of the entrance where you kill Insat. And I'll just fast forward this part 
as you saw in the very beginning of the video, we already had 30 offerings, but no piece of an evil chicken outfit yet that is needed for the collection log. No luck from the Ceridoman eggs, so we'll go ahead and use the Guthix eggs now. And it is important to note, if you are hunting down that evil chicken outfit, uh, doing birdhouse runs is probably a very good way to obtain bird eggs that you need uh, to this uh, shrine, you know, in order to actually obtain an evil chicken piece. This alongside, I guess, killing giant mole or... Uh, doing normal wood cutting. I'm really not sure. There's probably other ways to obtain nests, but birdhouse runs, definitely one of the most popular ways to obtain nests. But we had no luck from the Guthix eggs. Let's go ahead and use the Zamorak eggs now. I wonder if Kingdom of Miscellanea actually gives egg nest. I don't actually remember, but let me know in the comments below other ways that people go about getting eggs. And uh, if you've had any luck with the evil chicken outfit, because unfortunately I did not have any luck with those 61 eggs in total. And now we have 850 nests that contain seeds and keep in mind 61 of those were just because uh, every single time you use an egg nest on the shrine you do receive a seed nest in return so that is nice uh, but other than that the rest of them were from all the birdhouse runs. I fast forward this uh, by 100x so it shouldn't take long to show here but some highlights of this uh, batch was uh, three dragon fruit tree seeds, 20 yew seeds, two magics, and 33 papayas. I accidentally banked all of them at one point and then it got very confusing because runelight wasn't tracking all that spam clicking so so yeah, but either way, uh, I did get all of them accounted for. And the overall price check from the seeds comes out to be rounded up 2 million GP. Now we're going to go ahead and open up all the nests that contain rings. I think we have close to 550 of these nests. Uh, no matter what we get from them, I mean, jewelry ex itself is not expensive, especially rings. Uh, even if you enchant them, they're not that expensive. But really, the main profit from this video is just the nests themselves. You don't even have to crush them anymore. You can just price check them as is and sell them as is. But overall, after all that fast forwarding and all the openings from the uh, ring nest, I did receive an extra 270k from that. That is not too bad. It's nothing like the two mil from the seeds, but uh, either way, I will take it. So now we're going to go ahead and price check all of our empty nests. Now that I've uh, pretty much opened all of the nests that had the jewelry, the seeds, and the eggs in them. And we're going to throw in the feathers as well, because you do get feathers from doing birdhouse runs. And it looks like 2,637 nests and over 45,000 feathers comes out to be 14.9 million GP. So if you combine all the other price checks, we have made 17.2 mil from 1,000 Redwood birdhouses and uh, overall hunter XP 1.2 mil, overall crafting XP 55k. And again, this took very uh, minimal effort, little to no effort. And just every 50 minutes, you just go do a run and that's it. All right, nine easy clue scrolls we are now opening. It looks like we didn't really get a whole lot from them, but now we move on to the eight mediums which the first one featured a master clue which i completed now we move on to the other seven remaining hopefully get a pair of ranger boots from these that would be insane but it looks like uh, all of the rewards are average or even a little below average so now we move on to the two hards and then the two elites uh really just seeing average across the board here nothing too crazy from all the clues so now we have the last one being the master and yeah just an average reward from that too so an extra 900 and 95k from the clue scrolls to the price check which means we made 18.3 mil from 1000 redwood birdhouses and uh i mean i couldn't ask for better results showing the rune light loot tracker here and just a reminder that you know this took very little effort every 50 minutes you just have a little timer set and you spend 90 seconds out of your day to get some free hunter xp and some free bird nests well that is going to be it for this one guys i hope i uh helped answer your question if birdhouse runs are worth doing or not for main accounts or Iron Man accounts, or, uh, you know, at least gave you guys a little bit more insight into it. Well, a big thank you to our YouTube channel members with a special shout out to Angels Blood, X Exotic X, Deception Z, and of course, Matthew Stivers. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I have a thousand Phantom Muspa coming to you soon with a special 200,000 subscriber celebration part in that video as well. And until then, thank you all so much. Mr. No Sleep, out.